I want to give, I, want to, I heard one scripture on our word today. Okay. In Psalm 18. Okay. And, and then the other one I hang on to. Okay. Is where we're at. And, and Psalm 103, verse 3 says, He is the Lord that forgives us of all of our iniquities and heals us of all of our diseases. Right. So perhaps our diseases are because of some of the movement of, of iniquities in our family tree we inherited. Absolutely. How we think and the biology and so on. Okay. So he forgives us of our iniquities that we were playing around with, right. like our ancestors did. Right. And then in the course of dealing with those iniquities, then he heals us of all of our diseases. Now, in the Word today, I think it was Psalm, Psalm 18, somewhere 18, 19, somewhere there, we were listening. That'd be about right. David was saying, I kept myself from my iniquities. That's true. That's what he said. He said, I kept myself. Yes. Now, he recognized them. Yes, he did. But he didn't participate with them. Right. So, at some part of our growth here, as mature sons and daughters of the Father, we must recognize in areas that how we think, speak, and act may be a carryover from past generations well, you know, I'm also that could cause problems for us now. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that David had a lot of things that he could have retaliated with because of some of the, the, the things that were done to him. Yeah. I mean, from Saul to his son to, I mean, the list goes on. But the thing is, is, and I'm sure he wanted to retaliate because some of his, you know, when he talks to God about what to do about his enemies kind of thing, I mean, I don't know. I, I used to say, I don't know if I can pray that way, right? Well, maybe I can, you know, I don't know. But I'm just saying that he always brought it to God and he didn't do, I mean, even with Absalom, he would not even go out and, I mean, I'm sure he was stirred in his, like, you know, with feelings that he could have retaliated. And, and when it came time for him after that all happened and he could have went right back and, and took over the throne again after Absalom Absolutely. died, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He said, I won't unless the people want me. Wow. He had every right to take this role. Absolutely. He didn't need anybody's permission. But he was still king. He was. But no, he was still king. He was. He didn't need anybody's permission. That's he didn't need anybody's he could permission. He just take it by force. That's what they did a he lot could of have. times. But the thing is, is oftentimes, you know, I think that we need to consider how we react or respond in situations that iniquity is pushing us and pulling us to react or respond in a certain way. And David, David, you know, he in that time acknowledged iniquity, basically said, you know, why would he say I didn't I, I didn't give in to it if he didn't know it was there? But the iniquity comes like just like little bits and pieces of our personalities. Little foxes. Too. Little foxes. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it, 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 we just actually demonstrate it. Right. Or we internalize it. And it's not good for us. Yeah. You know why? Because iniquity didn't do good things for your ancestors. Right. I said iniquities did not good things for your ancestors. In fact, iniquities is really the work of the enemy to produce his blessings in our life because of our not lining up yeah. with, with God in a special way.